What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? Hyper Chaotic here with a K, double R. And to anybody watching this at all, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the update and to catch up on what may be going on on my channel. To anybody who's new to me, double thank you for taking the time. And honestly, an update video is probably the best way to understand what's going on on the channel if you don't want to, you know, go through a sea of videos just to check it out. Sometimes that can get boring and it's not impossible to find a good series from a YouTuber you might like without liking all of their content, speaking from experience. Um, anyways, uh, before we get into the update, I just want to mention this is actually kind of more for me, more than anything. Just given the fact of my growth or lack thereof on both my channels. Um, well, I mean, I've been noticing those on BitChute watching on BitChute. By the way, this is going to go on both channels and I'm going to be referring to both channels as far as the main channel um i know i've been getting more noticed on bit shoot more than anything so there's that but uh yeah this video is kind of a little bit more than for for me more than anything because there's something about making an update video for me that psychologically helps me you know remember better that i got projects to get into and it's I remember more that it's actually on my to-do list or that I have a to-do list versus literally writing a to-do list. Like for some reason, writing something down in my content journal, which I actually have a journal for writing down content and ideas and I do resort to it, but I constantly forget it exists and bother to go to it for writing down ideas or just remembering I have ideas at all. Whereas for some reason, an update video kind of just psychologically makes me remember better. There's stuff I gotta, I gotta work on. Even then, you know, I, in my opinion, I feel like every YouTube channel that wants to keep on growing and whatnot, and I don't know, there's something about making an update video. It, it's it's a great way to separate periods of where you're changing and developing, in my opinion. Um, especially when you're pointing out where ch changes need to be changed, uh, if that makes sense. Anyways, let me just go ahead and get into the actual video before I just start rambling on about nothing. I mean, I don't call myself hyper chaotic for nothing, but of course, gotta gotta focus on topic. Um, I also must apologize if I stutter or clutter my words at any point in time in this video. I will repeat myself if I slip my words, and... Um, I would refer, I would prefer, sorry, I already just slipped up right there. I would prefer to just repeat myself than have to repeat a whole recording because I could be an absolute bitch and already this is my like fifth or sixth time to repeat. Nevertheless, I do apologize if I do stutter and clutter. I have conditions that just don't help, which is why I would just prefer to restate my statements. Um, also, I am just getting over a toothache, which is not helping. And holy fuck, I, I don't know why, but today it was causing me a headache. Which is interesting because it was not hurting as bad as it was yesterday. To the point where it hurt to even breathe. Through my mouth, of course. If I breathed through my nose, there wasn't too much pain because it's a toothache. But holy fuck, I couldn't even breathe without extra pain. God bless ibuprofen. What that said is actually getting to the updates. So, first of all, the channel, or channels themselves, I should say, the primary channels. And I say primary because I actually have just recently opened up a second channel, which I will get into right next after this one. But uh, for the main channel, there's going to be some changes to content. Primarily some ideas that I was originally either going to keep on BitChute or... TikTok, which I'm going to get more into that in a bit. Let's just say I had some issues on those other platforms to the point where I'm deciding that it'd probably be best to just not make any form of exclusives whatsoever to any platform. It just doesn't seem like too good of an idea. Uh, I'm just going to hope to build an audience wherever I can and attract people wherever I can on whatever platform I'm using. So, yeah. Uh, but as far as for the primary channels, um, there's going to be a lot more content being added, and I'm actually preparing a more 
proper schedule. Um, kind of pretty much going throughout the week. Now, when I say throughout the week, I am actually got specific ideas of what could land on specific days. This does not mean you're going to get a shit ton of videos uh, throughout the week. You know, maybe some weeks I may only have one, two, three or so videos. For this week, maybe, the day I'm going to be, sorry, the week, I'm going to be uploading this update will probably be just the update video and following it maybe just a small gameplay or something of whatever I decide to put up but after that following week I do upload this update whenever it is whenever you're watching this after that week is when the actual schedule will get started now other than that there are also some other ideas that I'm going to be doing that can only be done on the YouTube channel because of YouTube Shorts. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of shorter series for that. Do expect it to be edited and recorded in TikTok because I am having a lot of issues with TikTok, but it as a, a video creator and producer, as far as just like software, it's, 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 a, it's a pretty good app. I accidentally just smacked my microphone. I don't know if that came, uh, if you guys heard that, but I apologize if you heard a boom on the microphone. Probably not. Who knows? But we'll see. I'll see during editing. <sighs> editing can be tedious, but there's something about it I just love. Um, I'm not sure what more I could truly say about the primary channels other than, yeah, more content is coming. And I'm going to try to make sure to have more of a proper schedule. Granted, I must mention in the case of BitChute, for those watching on BitChute, let's say you subscribe for whatever specific video or series I start doing. If there's ever a day where a video may be late to schedule, now I'm not going to have any specific hourly times I'll be uploading them. It'll just be a day and that's it. And I'm going to try to upload just as soon as possible on that day. I'm not going to hope for the best to be at home or whatever not be busy to to be able to upload at a certain time uh you know, this is a hobby of mine so i don't get paid to do it so you know not too much of a schedule to keep up but i would it would, it would just be better for me and the channel to have a schedule but again just don't expect anything at a specific time just a specific day and that is it now throughout the weeks whether or not you get said specific content on said day will depend if I have a video ready for said day of said specific contents. Now I'll get more into said specific content in a sec after I mention the second channel. Now the second channel is only one and it's a YouTube channel. I could make a second bitch channel which costs money but it doesn't cost too much. However given that I'm already trying to maintain two channels and I'm already adding a third channel even though the two primary channels are both basically one and the same for the most part, just on two different platforms, it's it probably probably be best I don't put more work on myself when I already have so many projects ahead of me and other ideas I want to get to. Needless to say, I'm styling, um, style, I'm piling up. I don't even know what the fuck I'm trying to say anymore. I'm piling up content at this point. And I'm trying to catch up on a lot of it. So by the time it's uploaded, it will uh, most likely would have already been edited and, and produced a week or so before it was ever uploaded. <laughs> In fact, um, that is what one of my main series called The Dang Kill, the show where I review Canips, Nikos, Canip, Nikos accessories will come into play soon because it's a series that I've actually been piling up and for the most part I've just been uploading on BitChute for now but I'm going to start bringing it over to YouTube but before we get into that again first the second channel now the name of the second channel and I will have a link down below and if YouTube's not being a bitch about it because for some reason it allowed me to do it in one video now it doesn't want me to do it at all anymore but you know I'll leave one of those only cards at the end for the second channel again if YouTube's not being a bitch but link will be down below for YouTube and BitChute. Uh, again, there isn't a second channel on BitChute owned by me. Just that you will have the link. It's still going to be on YouTube though. So if you have a trouble with YouTube and that's why you're over on BitChute, sorry. 
But even then, that's assuming you're even into the second channel, which is called Be Quiet Cutscene. B as in just the letter B. Quiet spelled K W I E T. So, how quiet would have been spelled if it was spelled with a K W instead of a Q U? Uh, hyphen cutscene. I'll put the proper spelling down below in the description, but it's called Be Quiet, just the letter B. Be Quiet with a K W hyphen cutscene. And it's the channels for no commentary gameplay, and that's it. Originally, I was going to start doing no commentary gameplay on the channel, but given the fact that a lot of the no commentary gameplay uh, would just pretty much be alongside the exact same chapters I would be playing with commentary, it, it kind of felt pointless because the no commentary gameplay is literally just this exact same video I, I, I played. It's going to be a walkthrough though. So, I'm... I'll have my playthroughs on the main channel and my walkthroughs on the secondary channel. Now, I can already see some people saying, chaotic, those are the same fucking thing. Technically, yes. But most people, when they think no commentary, just showing a chapter by chapter gameplay as is, people usually think and name them walkthroughs. So, playthroughs will be the ones with my actual vocal reaction on the main channel and on the secondary channel which is going to be no commentary gameplay that's where we're going to post the walkthroughs which is literally the exact same gameplay as a playthrough just i'm not talking over it that's it it's a bit more chopped up too but for the most part it's just chapter to chapter mission to mission gameplay unless it's an open world game then it's going to be more Somewhat mission to mission, activity to activity. We'll see, I'll see how I do it. I'm still figuring it out for open world games, and I do plan on playing the first Crackdown soon. And the reason why I, the reason why I open this second channel is for video game preservation. Now that's also why I'm uploading the playthrough series on the main channels. But I realize that a there are some people that are into no commentary gameplays and B I had my moments where I couldn't shut the fuck up during a cutscene like I remember all the times I've ever I've ever watched a YouTuber play a game I'm, I'm just like why do you gotta talk during, talk during the cutscene why do you keep speaking during the cutscene I get you want to comment on the cutscene but good god damn it let the cutscene play first and then here I am doing the exact same thing I never realized just how fucking hard it is to not talk during a cutscene. I mean, granted, it's prob probably easier if you've never seen the cutscene. The story's new to you, so you're most likely going to be like, oh, sh sh shut, the sh shut up. I want to see this. But given that I did ha uh, see, well, play through the whole game and seen all the cutscenes, I pretty much knew what to expect, even though I don't remember it to a teeth. I don't know. It's just any other time I'm playing by myself, and even though while recording I'm still by myself, uh, you kind of get into the mentality that you know whoever's watching is kind of there, and because of that, you all of a sudden got the urge to still talk even during a cutscene. So while doing that, I realized just how much I couldn't shut the fuck up during a cutscene. That's literally why I call the channel "Be Quiet Cutscene." Because I myself couldn't shut the fuck up during the cutscene. So I said, you know what? Fuck it. Since I'm clearly doing this for video game preservation. I'll have my actual playthrough series with me reacting to the gameplay on the main channel. And the secondary channel will just strictly be walkthroughs. Just regular mission to mission. Like I said, chapter to chapter based walkthroughs. And what's funny is I got the idea... I got the idea while recording uh, that episode. Now, the series is going to be called... I'm going to have a series of gameplay. But for the playthroughs... If it's an older game, I should say. For the playthroughs, I'm going to be doing this uh, series called... What Did I Miss? Now, What Did I Miss? It's just, again, playthroughs. But What Did I Miss is only specifically referring to more retro games throughout the 360 original Xbox 
and even PlayStation 2 and 3 if I can get my hands on said games in console. I have a buddy of mine who could probably help out with that. Maybe even uh, PS1, again, if I can get my hands on something like that. Uh, or like the PS1 Classic. I need to get me one of those. I really need to get me one of those. I could probably put some ROMs on it and catch up on more games I missed out on. But yeah, that's, as you can guess, there, what did I miss? It's just me checking out games I missed out on. Um, any games that is more newer, fresh, or just, you know, not more retro now and something I missed out on when I was younger would just be a regular playthrough named after chapter and gameplay or game I should say and that's it but uh, if it's an older game and I missed out on it when I was younger it's gonna be labeled in a series called what did I miss so anything that's what did I miss main main channel Secondary channel will get a lot of those playthroughs as walkthroughs, no commentary. Now as for... So I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen, let me make sure to go over the content journal. So I've mentioned the playthroughs and the walkthroughs. Yes, let's uh... Well, that's the second channel, everybody. So again, I literally just came up with that idea while playing one of the walkthroughs. That's that's what I almost forgot. There we go. That's what I almost forgot. That's why I, that's why I was checking my notes. Um, I almost forgot to mention I actually got that idea while directly in the middle of one of the walkthroughs. I don't remember which one. So when you go to check out one of the walkthroughs for um, bad comp. Well, that's the only what did I miss series I'm currently doing. I haven't finished that game yet, but. From one of my uh, chapter run gameplays of Battlefield Bad Company 1, not the second one, the first one. Um, I actually got that idea in the middle of that playthrough. And as soon as I finished, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to make that second channel. Because, like I said, I just could not shut the fuck up during that cutscene. So, bam. Open up new channel. Fucking thumbnail. The, the, not thumbnail. Profile picture. Yeah, banner, yeah, y'all yeah, know what the fuck I mean. I opened up the channel, named it Be Quiet Cutscene. So, I specifically opened up a second walkthrough channel just for the sake of video game preservation. Because at this point, there's no guarantee a copy of every video game out there that has ever existed will be saved, whether physical or digital, or will last. So, our best bet is just, well, documentation of said games. Including playing through them. Or at least having some sort of gameplay to represent what it used to be and what it was about. Which is probably what I'm going to have to do for some games that I cannot play through thoroughly. Whatever the case may be. Since I'm going to be looking at a lot of Android offline campaign games. Usually it'll most likely be just too difficult. Or I'm being held back by just... A bullshit grinding system and the lack of proper resources which is an issue with the game I'm actually currently playing again on mobile so with that said let me go ahead and start getting into the next update the dang kill again the dang kill this show where I will review cannabis nickels and cannabis nickel accessories it's primarily based around cannabis, nicotine, and cannabis and nicotine products now if we're going to be smokable but most of them are based around those the brown and green herb um, and they're pretty much as they sound reviews and originally I was putting them up on BitChute but then I started having issues of loading some, some of my series primarily the uh, files being too large and see what happens on BitChute since it's still a site being built in progress it doesn't have servers built to the degree like YouTube's so when you upload a video that's too long and too large, the website can actually have an issue accepting it, which is also something I got to mention on, uh, for those of you on BitChute. At least when it comes to the playthroughs, expect some of them to come into part one, part two, part threes or whatever for a chapter or, or whatever mission-based uh, playthrough I decide to do because of the fact that some of these games will get too large like for example I actually did this for the YouTube upload as well but from here further on YouTube will get the playthroughs whole so 
for the very first chapter of Bad Company. Welcome to uh, Bad Company. I had to break it up into part one, part two for chapter one because of how large it was. And because I already had it chopped up, it, it went up like that on YouTube as well. However, now with the way I'm editing them, chapters are going to have themselves a whole video playthrough uploaded to the main YouTube channel. But on the Bitchu channel, I may have to chop it up and do, you know, since I'm on chapter two now, it'll probably be like part one of chapter two, part two of chapter two. And if it's a little bit too long, part three of chapter two, so on and so forth for the further chapters. That's only going to be for the Bitchu channel because, again, Bitchu has an issue with bigger, longer, larger files. So expect that to come on Bitchu. I may be doing that soon with uh, the Dan Kale series as well if I have to. So far, I've been lucky enough to where I just re-upload the video a second, third, in a few, very few cases, a fourth time, the website eventually just accepts it instead of spitting it back out and saying no go. But uh, if there does come a point, I have to chop up an episode into part one, part two. Do expect that, and that is my reason why. As for the series in of itself, I believe I'm already up to like, what, episode eight on Bit Shoot. So, if I'm currently taking a break because I have to do this update video, and like I said, I had a lot of other projects to catch up on. And once I'm, I've done that, I will continue to upload the series where we left off on Bitchu. But since I'm also bringing it over to YouTube, once that break is over and I start continuing where I left off on Bitchu, on YouTube, you guys, anybody watching at all, will start getting this series since I have yet to upload it there, starting from episode one, of course. Which is just the order of what I record. But yeah, so I left off on episode 8 for the Dane Kill on Bitchu. And once the break is over for me to catch up on my contents, then I'm going to start uploading again to Bitchu where we left off on episode 8. And I'll start uploading it from episode 1 on YouTube and there on until eventually, you know, we get to the end of the season and I have to start making more episodes and get more products to review thankfully i have a couple of candles for you. Um, if you haven't seen the introduction video i'll leave a link for that down below or as an end card most likely as an end card it'll go over what the series will be about and what stuff i will typically look at as far as accessories i'm pretty sure you guys get an idea as far as cannabis and mixing products but as far as accessories you know to get a, an extended definition of what i'm what i mean by accessories It'd be great for you guys to check out that video. Or hop on over to Bitchu and just see the episodes for yourself. You know, you don't have to wait and you don't need an account. Granted, with an account, it'd be easier for you to like my video. Regardless, just hop on, hop on over, check it out, or subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. I mean, if you're watching on YouTube, and just give it some time till my break is over this week, and I'll start uploading it. And episodes, this is gonna be the same for Mitch Shoot and YouTube will go every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Again, episodes will be uploaded every Tuesdays and Thursdays. No specific time, no mention of a specific time zone. Just whenever I'm available at my computer and it's not too late, it will be uploaded Tuesdays and Thursdays. Again, I'm Mitch Shoot because sometimes it may take a while for Mitch Shoot to say it's ready or to even take a video if I have to re-upload it you might get videos later now just like they're gonna be a bit more late than when I upload them but for the most part I'm gonna try to make them all on time around the same time on YouTube and bitch again just on no specific time just a specific day Tuesdays and Thursdays I will also be doing a series of shorts called Day Kill Shorties Taking a look at a lot of the stuff that I have already checked out or talking about other stuff I have yet to mention or just talk about throughout the series, which is primarily just a review more than anything, a review series. But I will do other stuff, again, related to cannabis and nicotine, which I may have to talk about more in another future. As for Dane Kill Shorties, it was an idea I was going to do on TikTok. Then TikTok decided to be a sensitive little bitch and strike me down for something that's not even against the fucking rules. 
Yes, strike me down for reviewing a fucking smoke pipe. Because somehow that breaks the fucking guidelines and not the countless amount of people who have smoked and drink on the fucking app. I've literally smoked on camera myself on TikTok. They didn't give a fuck that I was huffing and puffing and we had a cigarette. But an empty smoke pipe? Oh, oh no! What would the advertisers think? The children, think of the children. Well, you don't give a fuck about the children. Otherwise, you would have gotten rid of all the pedophiles on the app. So I definitely don't want to hear none of, the, none of that shit from, from TikTok. Though I wouldn't be surprised if they still try to make that fucking excuse. More on that a little bit later. Yes, this is going to be a long update, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm trying to cover every single bit of detail. Moving on. Ah, Yes. Almost forgot. As far as the playthroughs, and it's the same thing to go for the walkthroughs, they're going to be uploaded Mondays and Fridays. Now, do not expect to always get a, a um, gameplay and a Dank Hell series on every single week. If I have videos ready for those days of that specific you know, category, then it will go up on those days. If I have any gameplay videos ready at all they will go up mondays and fridays unless i decide to upload any sooner or later i'm gonna prefer to upload them on mondays and fridays and dan kill like i said it'll be tuesdays and thursdays so it, whether or not you do or don't get a gameplay with your dan kill throughout that week will just depend if i have depend on whether or not i have a video ready so I'm going to be mentioning a lot of things I could upload throughout the week, but do not expect a full week of catalog of videos. If that happens one day, that, that's just luck. Maybe it'll happen sometime this week or so, but don't expect it to happen often. So again, walkthroughs and playthroughs for both of those channels will be uploaded Mondays and Fridays. Dank Hill series will be uploaded Tuesdays and Thursdays. Now on... To chaotic collections which will be a series yes i'm doing multiple series of just, of me just looking at collectibles most of them will be, probably be shorts that i'll eventually combine into a compilation going on tiktok and youtube shorts but eventually i'll do something like for example since i'm going to be looking at coins um, I'm not a, really much of a coin collector or coin enthusiast. I'm more so doing that because of the money I could make selling these collectibles. But whether I'm actually looking at something that I'm personally collecting or something something that in general can be collected. Technically, almost anything could be collected. But things that typically would be considered a collectible, whatever that means, I guess. I, sh I guess I should be setting a certain definition for that, but I may have to make up one for that one day because I know depending on what you personally like may be personally collectible for me it's right now it's smoke pipes you know those wouldn't exactly have a lot of monetary value over time but I'm primarily trying to look at stuff that does have a monetary value primarily not only just primarily but um the main thing I will be looking at will be coins looking at errors or good condition coins Probably do quick shorts looking at them. And then in a separate video, I'll analyze a coin properly, talking about its errors. And from there, I'll go online to see if I could find a value for a set coin. So, shorts going over a coin, eventually shoved in a compilation, followed by another video where, not one right after the other, but like what would come after I do a compilation, where I would go from doing compilations after I've done the shorts, to actually going over and analyzing said collectibles, primarily coins, but any said collectible, and trying to find if it has a value if I'm selling it, which is primarily going to be done with coins. So, now again, sometime this week or next week, you may or may not get a coin uh, compilation video, if you're interested in that. But if not, then again, you know, we got other series to check out. So, anything collectibles related that will be shown on the series of chaotic collections will be uploaded Wednesdays so let's go over that schedule one last time ladies and gentlemen Mondays and Fridays will be the playthroughs and walkthroughs playthroughs for the main channel which has commentary 
walkthroughs for the secondary channel, which has no commentary gameplay. The Dank Hill series, Dank Hill Shorts will be done whenever I feel like it, but the longer videos the Dank Hill series in of itself will be uploaded Tuesdays and Thursdays. And finally, anything, anything chaotic collection related will be uploaded Wednesdays. Now that I'm probably going to be more likely to be a little bit more fluent on the day I feel like uploading it for, but most likely it will definitely go on Wednesdays. Since I won't be doing that too often and videos like those, especially in the case of the shorts, will take a little bit more time to edit than um, playthroughs and walkthroughs. And even the Day Kill series doesn't have enough editing compared to my first coin compilation. Now, on to the next one on our list. Ah, yes. Um, if you were to see on my channel, ladies and gentlemen, I do a commentary every now and then whenever I feel like it or if there's a topic I feel like talking about. Now, I may have two or three topics I actually feel like talking about sometime this week or so. But there will be no specific day set for commentaries. I will pretty much upload those whenever. And it, if it ends up on the same day another video is supposed to be uploaded, whether it be the playthroughs, the Dane Kill series, Chaotic Collection video, if I feel like uploading it that day, then you guys will get two videos for that day. Uh, you know, wonderful. Hooray. Uh, again, if you're interested. But again, you know, don't expect anything on specific days. And I pretty much will talk about whatever I feel like talking about, and I'll try to make them as um, structured as possible. Because I want to typically go off of my head. This is probably the only video I've done in a while where I'm actually making sure to have the notes in front of me. And even while recording, I'm actively forgetting to look at the fucking notes. So, yeah, I'm not one with scripts. I'm not very good with scripts. I've tried once. It didn't work too well. At all. It really sounded robotic. It sounded very obvious that I was going off of a script. So if I have to write anything down, I'm better off writing it down as bullet points, like a list, and going off of it. Scripts, I don't do too well with scripts. I sound too automated. So commentaries will be done whatever. Now, now that I've pretty much gone over the schedule, I'm going to go ahead and mention some quick stuff that will be coming out soon other than Dank Hill other than the coin compilation other than the playthroughs and walkthroughs some main stuff that I am currently working on I will have a video discussing Rockstar and their whole situation with GTA 6 very soon because I have a lot to say for that um, and I will actually be bringing up Red Dead Redemption a little bit too in the discussion because it does relate to the situation with GTA 6, I swear. We will get into that when the video comes. But for the most part, I do have a lot to say about that. It'll probably be uh, a video essay in and of itself. It's something I can properly structure it like one. I've always wanted to do a video essay, but I can see myself not doing it very well. But I'm going to give it a try nevertheless. I will also, let's see, Dan Hill series, uh, oh yes, a review for Battle of Warships and Wings of Steel, for those of you who don't know, I had played a game called Battle of Warships, I pretty much stopped playing the game because I wasn't doing to it, and I had enough gameplay that I could have for the channel. And now I'm actually going to, I'm planning on doing a review for it. Once I've gotten a f those few other projects off of my plate. And I'll try to make sure it's a fair and biased review. To be honest, I got a lot of fair things to say. But it's going to primarily be an opinion piece more than anything. So if you end up hearing something I say and you disagree agree with me, that's fine. It's 100% going to be opinion based. I mean, I'm going to definitely mention game mechanics and fairness for the player and whatnot. But in this case, specifically in this particular game, it's going to be easier for me to, to be fair and not bring that up too much. 
but it's still primarily a, a personal opinion piece more than anything. So if you disagree agree with me, if you play that game yourself and if you genuinely like it, great, enjoy it. I'm not going to tell anybody whether or not they should or shouldn't uh, give it a try. I may give recommendations and that's it. Whether or not you choose to take my recommendations, that's on you. You don't have to. You can take it. You can ignore it. You can try the game out. You can never look at it in your life. I honestly don't care. I just want to give a personal opinion uh, on the game myself. And I do have some things to say. Because for all the shit people give mobile games, there are some good ones out there. There are some hidden gems. You just got to find them. That's the part I think people hate the most is actually having to find them. Because you got a few games out there that for a while they feel like they could be that hidden gem. And then it just goes downhill from there. Which is my situation with Wings of Steel. Which is why I'm going to be doing a, uh, a review on Wings of Steel as well very soon. And I do plan on doing some walkthroughs since it's an offline campaign based game. I'm going to do some walkthroughs of a few missions. I'm not going to do a full playthrough of that game because it's a bit unfairly difficult in certain missions. But I'm going to at least do a walkthrough of a few missions that fairly represent the game and what it's about and what you will be doing within said missions. Now, since there isn't a story to it at all, really, I'm not too worried about catch capturing the story. Because if they had a campaign with a story, even a, a, a small, not too very detailed one, I would be more worried about actually capturing all the missions. But uh, it does it, so I'm not too worried about that. And it, in my opinion, for me at least, it's just not worth playing all the way through, even for the channel. Again, if you genuinely like this game, that's fine. I think it's unfair in some parts, but it doesn't mean that I think it's a full-blown cash grab or that it doesn't have potential. I just hope the devs don't waste it. Is all I'm trying to say. I'll go deeper into it when I do said review. And again, there are going to be some walkthroughs for that game. It's ally and access mission since it's a World War II fighter game. Alright. Forgive me, ladies and gentlemen. On back to the list. So I made sure to mention Wings of Steel, the Rockstar situation. I will also be doing a compilation of uh, the whole Keemstar situation, primarily because there's a specific topic I want to mention. And the whole Keemstar situation with him and his girlfriend will be a very good, perfect example for me to bring up. Now, even though this did happen a while ago, the situation that Keemstar is having with you know, people calling him what they think he is because of his girlfriend's age... It's happened a bit more often than you think. Um, and it's happening on TikTok more than anything, which is the funny part. I don't know why, I just know it does. Oh, also some Overwatch gameplay coming soon. Which is going to be my um, reaction to playing the game since two years ago. I Since I stopped playing the game. Like literally two years ago from like... A couple, uh, couple of days ago, I had completely stopped playing the game because I just got bored of it. Uh, but as recently, I just picked it back up. They've changed that game a lot since then. In just two years. But even then, it's still pretty much fucking fun as the day I picked it up. Now, that I've already mentioned all of that, I just want to quickly talk about my whole situation in, on TikTok. Now... Why am I bringing up TikTok? Besides the fact that I did say I have an account to upload and probably promote. Well, actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Is to promote my channel and my content on TikTok. Because a lot of YouTubers are doing that. And it, it's a great tool for that. Other than the fact that it is also a good video. It has a good video creator as well. If you're trying to do short content. Again, that is short, quick edited content. TikTok is generally good for that. Again, as a software, not so much as a platform. It is great for getting notoriety as far as a platform. Do not count on building an audience here. People are getting banned from the most trivial, unfair bullshit that's not even breaking the fucking rules. And as I said, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this early, earlier, I was going to do a series called Thank Kill Shorties. Now, 
given TikTok's uh, rules and regulations, I already knew for Dane Kill Shorties that cannabis in of itself was gonna be a no-no. Nevertheless, I knew that certain things shouldn't count under certain stuff, like anything nicotine related should have been okay. Even edibles, I should have been able to get, get away with it. And I know good and damn well they're not going to have a problem with a fucking smoke pipe when A, people literally smoke on the fucking app, and B, I've literally uploaded the exact same video. Well, actually, let me rephrase that. So what happened was, I uploaded my very first thing, Kill Shorty. I reviewed my glass pipe because I was going over my glass pipe. One of my glass pipes. And it got struck down. Then I did a video explaining the situation. Again, showing the pipe. And it got struck down. But this was my second TikTok. Then I uploaded it to my main TikTok. And it was just fine. It wasn't hold under review. It wasn't shadow banned. Nothing. It was, it was fine. Which is funny, because when I uploaded those two videos, they were struck like that, instantly. But then I uploaded to my other TikTok, it's all fine and dandy, it doesn't break the rules or nothing, go ahead and get your views. And what's bullshit is I apparently got too many strikes on my account that I couldn't upload, it, upload to it for a while. What's even bigger bullshit was the fact that the secondary TikTok account was the one I was behaving on the most keyword the most I mean being a little bit of a bad boy on the main accounts but God forbid I cuss the motherfucker out for talking shit in my comment section and I try to report him for harassing me over a fucking mask but then I then I'm I'm in trouble for cussing a motherfucker out in my comment section fuck you TikTok Motherfuckers literally calling me a sheep, son of a bitch, this, that, and the fucking third. But I can't call him a sorry whining, whiny little bitch that doesn't deserve fucking ibuprofen. Fuck you. Fuck you and the people who made the algorithm. Not the death team who made the actual app itself. I think as far as how they made it structured and work and the video editor and its effects and even how you how the comments work for the most part. And video replies. Man, I wish they would bring that back to you too. The app is very well fucking designed. It's just the way they run it. It's the fucking problem. They're too busy worried about these stupid ass fucking TikTok dancers. That they don't give a fuck about anybody else. And the only reason why they give a fuck about TikTok dancers. Is because they're making a fucking deal with Spotify. And another thing about TikTok is, you know, they don't have a copyright system like YouTube's, so theirs is not straight up bullshit. If you're literally, literally not straight up swiping somebody else's content and saying it's yours, then they don't care. And even then, it's primarily TikTok content. So if it's another YouTube video uh, that you're trying to swipe and say it's yours, it's harder for it to, to really know. But that's assuming somebody's actually swiping it and not uploading it and giving credit to said creator. I did that myself. I literally uploaded a tutorial that wasn't mine to my to my secondary one to uh, help people out because they were trying to activate playlists on TikTok. It was a new feature. People didn't know how to turn it on. So I wanted to help some people out. But I made sure to give credit to the creator and link their video. Granted, the whole video was basically uploaded. But they could have checked that person out for more tutorials because that person was one to do TikTok tutorials. Either way, I was trying to just help some people out. And in the process, I may have helped that dude get some notoriety. More than I did. Lucky bastard. But again, you know, that's just the situation, the copyright situation with their algorithm. If it's not in, uh, TikTok content, you're just trying to swipe and claim as your own, uh, it really can't tell the content is swiped or not and they don't give a, buck about, a fuck about songs again they, they're dealing with a, a they're dealing a, a deal with spotify I, i'm pretty sure they're they're having deals with a lot of the music companies nowadays because so many people they hear a song and nowadays they're gonna the first words are gonna come out of their mouth is hey i know that song from tiktok i can't tell you how many times i've heard that and how many times i my fucking self have said that 
Hey, I heard that song from TikTok. You know how many people just knew fucking, uh, what was it? Monterio from Lil Nas X has a, one of the songs from TikTok or his uh, Old, Town Road, Old Town Road song. People know that's one of the main TikTok songs. The primary song uh, song that got popular on TikTok more than anything. Uh, Gangster's Paradise by Coolio. That song has been memed to fucking high hell on that app. I won't be surprised if there are people out there who have never heard Gangster's Paradise in their life until they watch TikTok. And now they just know, hey, I know that one song from TikTok. Gangster's Paradise. Gangster's fucking paradise. There are, gonna be, there are people out there who are like, hey, I know that song from TikTok. So that's why these, these music, if you never understood why, you know, these music companies don't have a big issue with their music being used so much on fucking TikTok. There you go. If anything, it's more beneficial to them. And it's funny, you could practically say the same fucking thing about YouTube, but then again, if it, you five seconds of their song, you get copyright strike. But on fucking TikTok, if somebody says, hey, I know that song from TikTok, they have no fucking issue with it. That in podcasts. Between music and podcasts, TikTok just loves music and podcasts. Why podcasts? Because they're also on Spotify. And so many motherfuckers nowadays are doing a podcast. But yeah, they're on me on some bullshit over a glass pipe. And I got too many strikes for some other stuff I did beforehand. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I'm one to fucking say how it is. So maybe they don't like that I run my mouth. Maybe that could be the case. But regardless, for me to get more strikes on the secondary account than my primary account where I've been the biggest bad boy well, it just didn't make any sense to me I on this account I'm a good boy I'm a good boy why am I getting banned I'm a good boy fuck you TikTok I'm a good boy over here fuck you on the main account fine punish me I've been a bad boy but here I've been a good boy fuck you where's my treat fucking assholes anyways so TikTok was on some bullshit. Um, and if for anybody who ends up... Better yet, actually, I should say, for anybody who has or does end up seeing my past videos, if I mention anything about my TikTok, just ignore it. I gotta go back and delete those fucking links now. What a fucking pointless waste. I mean, I'm still gonna upload to my primary TikTok. My primary TikTok. Again, just to help promote my channel and my videos. But other than that, I'm not crossing my fingers to build up a separate audience on TikTok. I mean, I had I had no problem with that. I wanted to do that originally. But TikTok's on some bullshit and pretty fucking unstable. It's just not worth it. I'm better off getting attention from whoever I can. And fingers crossed they trickle over here to YouTube or bitch. That's my best bet at least. And over time, maybe eventually give out, uh, give other platforms a try. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Uh, that's all I really can do. Yeah, I'm not. What, I'm not. I don't, I don't know what more I could say. TikTok was on some straight bullshit. But hey, they can still be useful to me one way or another. Even if it's just as a software tool, then so fucking be it. So fucking be it. And with that said, I gotta get to editing this one. I mean, I, I'm not really gonna bother cutting anything out. And yes, this is almost an hour long update, but I had to, I had a lot, of, I had to, a lot to say. And I wanted to make sure to go over everything and make sure I didn't forget. And like I said, even with my fucking notes in front of me, even in the paper, I still forget to fucking read them. Doesn't help I'm in a dark fucking room, but still. Anyway, I had to get some gameplay for this video. Um, and whatever gameplay you may be watching, I might upload it as, as, as its own separate video later on. Probably on Be Quiet. 
I'll see. It depends on whatever game I'm watching. Or right, watching. Whatever game I'm playing. Whatever game you're watching. Not what I'm watching. Whatever I'm playing. So whatever I'm playing up on the screen right now, depending on what it is, I will upload gameplay. I might upload gameplay a bit later on this channel or on Be Quiet. So, um, uh, whichever channel I end up putting it on, I'll leave a link card at the end. Or somewhere right here because we're at the end. So for anybody who actually took the time to actually listen to me ramble on about my channel for nearly a whole hour, probably listen to this as background noise if you did think it so much. I have a lot of work to get to on my channel, but hey, this is some sh this shit I genuinely want to get into. So, I better get to work. I especially want to work on that Rockstar League, because so I've been trying to work on that one for a bit over a week now. Never mind I, the fact that I still haven't gotten to that one Reddit video where I wanted to mention. I may have to cancel it, because unfortunately my research is not coming up very well. But essentially, I wanted to do a short video essay on why Reddit users have so much influence on that platform, on ugh, that platform, more than any other user on any other platform. Because the amount of influence the users on Reddit have on Reddit it is way more compared to YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook combined. Trust me. I'd go, I'd go over why, but uh, that would make this video even longer and I should have had it ended by now so once again to anybody who actually took the time to listen to this far thank you so fucking much I guess you're just that interested into having background noise can't blame you I like me a good long video or video essay for that too every now and then especially when I'm doing chores so I feel you so if you want to stop on by and just listen to a commentary or anything I'm doing is background noise hey any support I'll take it I, I will appreciate that. Hopefully, a lot of you may be interested to anything I have to offer. Um, and I do apologize again if I'm one to ramble long and sometimes go off on tangents. But again, I don't call myself hyper chaotic for nothing. And that would be off brand if I was completely and utterly structured and stable. Being a stable human being, that would be a dream. Anyways, with that said, um. I'm hyper chaotic, it's time for me to end this fucking video already, because I don't know when to shut up when I really do get into the mood. So, I'm hyper chaotic. Those on YouTube, those on YouTube. If you even watched this far at all, thank you so much. And I'm just guessing you're generally either that interested, or you just needed something to listen to in the background while you did some chores. Um, by the way, you missed the spot. Just fucking with you. Anyways, again, thank you so much for watching or listening, whichever you did. I don't care. Either way, I do appreciate it. This is an update video, but fuck it. Like, if you liked the video, subscribe and all that stuff. Leave a dislike if you didn't like it. And leave a comment telling me why. Was it too fucking long? Did I just not know when to shut the fuck up? Or did I accidentally circle around on too many of the subjects I just mentioned? Probably that one. But I guess I won't know until after I edit um, nevertheless, you know, opinions, thoughts, subscribe for more if you're interested, check out what I have to offer, and I really hope I see anybody, any of you out there, real soon on the channel. Chaotic out. Can't wait to see you guys for whatever's next.